Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Lucy's Picnic. Now, children, is everyone ready for the tour of the Elf Factory? Yes! This way, please. <laughs> Next stop, level 99. Hold tight. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, my tummy! <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the Elf Factory. Goodness me! Look at all this rubbish! Don't you ever tidy up? This isn't rubbish, Nanny Palum. These are the raw materials we use to make toys. The plastic bottles are made into gloop. The old tin cans are made into clockwork gobs. And the old paper and card goes into the pulping machine and gets squished into flat sheets, which are folded into new boxes for our toys. Wow! That's very clever. Elves are very clever. And we're elves! <laughs> This way, whee! 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 The Elf Factory produces one new toy every second. What happens when you go to bed? Does the Elf Factory stop? Certainly not. We work day and night to make sure the children of the world get their toys. The Elf Factory never stops. Elf Factory stopped. What? Slight problem, I'm afraid, wise old elf. We've run out of plastic, metal, and old paper. Let's just magic up some more. No, not magic. We're elves, and we... Oh, don't do magic. So what are you going to do? We'll simply go to the Great Elf Tower. Ooh. To the Great Elf Tower. What is the Great Elf Tower? Oh, it's a wondrous place. <laughs> I've never heard of it. The Great Elf Tower gives us all the things we need to make toys. How does it do that? When big people have picnics in the Little Kingdom, they put plastic bottles, tin cans and old papers into the Great Elf Tower. <laughs> We're here. Behold! The Great Elf Tower. Where? All I can see is a litter bin. What? Big people and fairies might call it a litter bin, but to us, it is the Great Elf Tower. Why are you wearing those funny clothes? They're not funny. These are safety clothes. The Great Elf Tower can be very dangerous. And very smelly. Here goes. Uh, 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 Keep going. You're uh, almost there. Uh, uh, Have you found lots of things for making toys? Uh, not yet. It's a bit dark. I'll go down and take a closer look. Oh, dear. I think the Great Elf Tower is empty. Oh. Oh. Mummy, Daddy, can 
have some more jelly beans? <laughs> this is a real Dad, I can hear oh, big people. Sandwich. We must stay out of their way. Big people have very big feet. Come on, Rex. That was a lovely picnic. Let's tidy up. Okay, Dad. I'll take the litter to the bin. Thank you, Lucy. Come on, Rex. <laughs> That's the sound of big people. Quick, get out of the bin. Huh? What was that? I said, get out of the bin. It's not a bin. It's the Great Elf Tower. Just get out of there, you silly old elf. Excuse me. <laughs> Ooh, a little furry. Uh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, and the smell. Fairy. I am not a smelly little fairy. I'm a smelly little elf. <laughs> it's that little girl we met at the farm. Yes, it's Lucy. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. We're having a picnic. Look, Gaston, it's Rex. <laughs> <laughs> he likes you because you're smelly. Charmed, I'm sure. Ooh. You've brought all your friends from Fairyland. This isn't Fairyland. It's the Little Kingdom. Load the elf trucks. Right ho! Lift ho! Lift ho! Lift, 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 lift! Catch ho! Catch, catch ho! Catch, 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 catch! But why do you want all this stuff? We use it to make toys. Wow! I love toys. But what do you do with all the smelly stuff? It makes lovely compost for the elf farm. Back to the elf tree! <laughs> Let's get these down to the elf factory without delay. Wow! Look at that tree. There are little windows in it. I wonder if there are any fairies inside. Ah! It's all right, Mum. It's just our friend Lucy. Oh, uh, uh, nice to meet you, Lucy. Hello. Here's a little present to remind you of your visit. It's our latest toy, fresh from the factory. Wow, thanks. Is this made from my rubbish? Yes, that's why we're very grateful to you for putting rubbish in the Great Elf Tower. What's the Great Elf Tower? He means the litter bin. You're welcome. Thanks for showing me your tree. I always thought fairies lived in castles. For the last time, we are not fairies. We're elves! <laughs> A castle, Lucy. Come and see. Wow, a real fairy castle. <laughs> it's okay, Daddy. It's only Lucy, the little girl. <clears throat> Hello, Lucy. How do you do? Oh, another little elf. I'm not an elf. I'm a fairy king. Nice to meet you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Lucy, home time. Oh, I have to go now. Thanks for leaving all the stuff in the bin. Don't you mean the great elf tower? <laughs> uh. <laughs> he really does like you. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Oh, dear. The car won't start. Look. It says empty on the petrol gauge. No petrol? Oh, that's not good. Oh, I wish we could help them. Uh, Nanny Plum, maybe you could sort this out with a bit of, um, fairy thingy. Fairy thingy? What's that? Mm, you, you know, the stuff you do with your wand. Oh, do you mean magic, wise old elf? Yes. Mm, magic. Very well. Magic it is. North wind blow! Go, car! Go, go, go! There. Just enough fairy dust 
to get them home. Oh, we've got no petrol, but the car's working. Maybe this car is so modern, it doesn't need petrol. Well, ask at the garage. Bye, Lucy. Come back soon. Thanks for mending the car. Lucy, who are you talking to? I met some elves and fairies. <laughs> That's nice. The car is shiny today. I've never seen it so sparkly. It's fairy dust. <laughs> what a sweet idea. <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the lake. The elf submarine. Your Majesty, may I present the Elf Factory's latest toy, the Elf Submarine. Ah, yes. Jolly good. Does it float? Does it float? Of course it floats. Allow us to demonstrate. We carefully chose this day to test the submarine, as there are no other boats on the lake. Hello, me hearties! It's ready! The Elf Pirate! Yo ho ho! Land ahoy! Um, should the ship be leaning like that? Maybe it's the weight of all that treasure. She's sinking! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! <laughs> Curses! Me ship and me treasure gone down to the bottom of the sea. How sad. Anyway, as I was saying, this is a perfect day to test the submarine with no boats on the lake. But what about Mr. Redbeard's treasure? Yes, me treasure! How will I get it back? If only we had some way of sailing underwater to look for it. Ah, if only. Anyway, back to my submarine. Uh, there's the a... submarine! We can use the submarine! Clever Ben! Hang on! The elf submarine is a toy! It's not for going on adventures. Oh, so it can't go underwater? Yes, it can. It'll probably sink like a stone. No, it will not. Good. That's that sorted. Captain Redbeard, our submarine is at your service. Thank you, Your Majesty. But... But I'll be needing a crew. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Can I come? And me. I'd better come too. If there's any trouble, I can use magic to help us. No, Nanny Palum. There will be no magic on the elf submarine. Because we're elves. And elves don't do magic. Yes, we know. <laughs> Polly, my faithful friend, you'll have to wait here. <laughs> Mr. Elf, steer the submarine. Aye, aye, Ben and Holly, wind up the engine. Aye, aye, aye Captain. <laughs> what shall I do? Why, you just sit there and look pretty, my little mermaid. Oh. I know this lake. I've sailed on it often. Are you a sailor? I was a sailor. I'm not anymore. Why not? Big Bad Barry. Who's Big Bad Barry? Only the biggest, giganticest, most enormous fish the world has ever seen. He's eaten nine of Dad's boats. You lost nine boats? I thought I was a bad sailor. I'm not a bad sailor. I'm just unlucky. That big, bad Barry is quite big. And bad. Dive, if you please, Mr. Elf. Dive, dive, dive. Oh, it's so pretty. Look. Where? What is it? It's Redbeard's boat. By Neptune, you're right. Well spotted, Ben! Oh, for a moment, I thought you'd seen Big Bad Barry. Ho ho! Now I can get me treasure back! Let's get it and go. I don't like it down here. I love it. All the fish and the flowers and that big underwater cloud. You don't get underwater clouds, me hearty. 
Shiver me timbers! It's a fish! It's so big! It looks bad! Is it Barry? It is! It's big! Bad! Barry! He's swimming towards Redbeard's boat! Oh dear! He's going to eat it. No! Me treasure! <laughs> Did you see that? He swallowed it whole, like it were a grape. Oh, what a shame. Shall we go home, then? Go home? But we haven't got me treasure. Well, we can't do much about that now. I never thought I'd say it, but Nanny Plum is right. Unless you want to sail into Barry's stomach and take your treasure back, this adventure is over. You're right, me fruity pancake. Mm. Take us home, Mr. Ralph. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Uh, who turned out the lights? It's all gone dark. Where are we? Oh, we must have sailed into a cave. Mr. Elf was chatting instead of looking where he was going. I was parked. Well, we're somewhere strange, and no mistake. And I'll shave me beard off if there's not something fishy going on. Turn on the lights, Mr. Elf. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> What's a pong? Where are we? Look! The ship! There are more boats as well. <gasps> it's Bunty! The boat Big Bad Barry ate last winter. That's my old boat, Trixabel. And there's Fifi. And this Boo Boo. Uh, if all those boats are inside Big Bad Barry, then we must be inside Big Bad Barry. By all that's wet and fishy, you're right. We're in the belly of the big fish. That explains the smell. Just think, all those years I tried to catch Barry, and now he's caught me. How are we going to get out of here? If we could get Big Bad Barry to open his mouth, we could just sail out. Oh, very clever, Ben. Only, how do we get him to open his mouth? Mm. Maybe it's time to ask for a bit of advice. Can someone answer their phone? It's not my phone. It's not mine either. Oh, it's mine. Hello? Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. What's that? They've got good news and bad news. What's the good news? They've found the treasure. Hooray! And what's the bad news? They've been swallowed by a giant fish. What? Are they okay? Uh, I'll ask. Is my submarine all right? It's not scratched, is it? Listen, Clever Clogs. We need your help. How can we get Big Bad Barry to open his mouth? Someone needs to talk to the fish. Nanny Plum can speak fish. Ah, Nanny Plum, you must tell the fish a joke and make him laugh. That's an idea. A very stupid idea, but an idea. What's the plan? I'm going to tell Big Bad Barry a joke to make him laugh. What? Utter nonsense. It was the wise old elf's idea. It's brilliant. Everyone back in the sub, get ready to sail! Hmm. What's a good fish joke? I know. <clears throat> Did it work? I don't know. He might not get it. <laughs> Something's happening. I think he likes the joke. <laughs> The elf pirate Redbeard and his crew return. It's a triumph! Hooray! Hooray! So you got the treasure? Nope. You got your boat? Nope. So in what way is this trip a triumph, then? Well, we're not inside a big fish. In that case, congratulations! It's a shame the treasure's lost. It's not lost. 
I know where it is, and no one will ever find it in the belly of Big Bad Barry. That's true. Of course it is, me tasty little fruit tree. Mm. Oh. Nanny Plum, what was the joke you told Big Bad Barry? It was, where do fish keep their money? We don't know. Where do fish keep their money? In a riverbank. Uh, <sighs> that's not very funny. I know. It's a bit of a rubbish joke. But then fish find the silliest things funny. They have very small brains. Where do fish keep their money? Oh, I get it. A riverbank. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,